Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I wanted to review of Ex Machina in 4K UHD Blu-ray. Now, this was one of my favorite movies of 2015, and I gave it a watch tonight, and I want to give you my thoughts on the movie itself, the picture quality, and if it's worth the double dip. Let's get to it. So anyway guys, I watched Ex Machina tonight and this was one of my favorite movies of 2015. So I'm gonna go over the movie briefly cause you already know how I feel about it. I feel very strongly about this movie. So this is a sci-fi movie. This really isn't a thriller at all, but it does have some aspects of it because it really is scary how far AI can come. And that's really what this movie is about. It takes a different approach to artificial intelligence than most movies in Hollywood. That's what I really liked about it. It's a much more indie approach. Um, you have to have some sort of like deep thought with the movie, and that's what I really like about it. You come into this movie with a programmer's mindset. So I work in IT, which is information technology. So I already kind of come into movies with this mindset where I'm analyzing everything and analyzing behavior, and that's just kind of who I am and how I do things. So when this movie approached that way, I loved it. I love that the main character is... A programmer but not even that he just questions everything and the whole movie has you questioning everything because the smarter the AI gets the more questions you have and there's nothing I want to give away about this movie and it's not a movie with like a twist or really any spoilers or anything like that but I just think it's in a very enjoyable film and at the end you're really gonna wonder what is gonna happen with Ava which is her name in the movie. And overall, the performances are great, and I have nothing bad to say about this film. A plus in my book. Now let's get to the visual aspects, and this is what you came here for. Now the thing is with this movie is that it's a weird film. So when I first saw it, I thought this was a beautiful film. I thought this was digitally shot, which it is. It's it, it shot in 4K, finished in 4K, so it's a 4K digital intermediate you you know, we should expect amazing results, and we get those results. We do get those results on some shots, don't get me wrong. But a majority of this film was shot kind of out of focus. And what I mean by that was that really there's only one subject in focus at a time when you're on camera, no matter what the shot is. So if there's two people talking and a landscape, you know, only one person out of that whole shot is going to be in focus. So that's more the director and the cinematographer's choice. So I'm really going to leave that out, but I do want to give a warning that a lot of shots in this movie are out of focus. And they're not really out of focus. You could tell what was purposely in focus as the main point subject. But anyway, that's a disclaimer. Now the visual quality, let's get to it. So this is a 4K digital intermediate. So this thing is crisp. You get a huge upgrade in detail on the things that are in focus. The things that are in focus are insanely crisp and the landscapes are just ridiculous. The details on the landscapes and when they're outside, which is, you know, few and far between in this movie, sadly, but when they're outside, it is a beautiful, beautiful shot film. And even inside, you could really see in laboratory, the lighting and stuff like that is just beautiful. Now, the black levels in this movie, normally I don't really hit on black levels too much. It's not super important to me with an OLED TV. The black levels of this movie are amazing. You really, really cannot tell the black from the black bars. So, it, you know, that's really the best test you can give is that if you can't tell the difference between the image and the black bars surrounding around it with the pixels completely off, then you could tell how inky these blacks are. Now, clearly the star of this show, again, is the HDR. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a 4K digital intermediate. So we're getting the full upgrade on the image here, but the HDR really is the star of the show because inside... The lighting is amazing, and when you step outside into the landscape I was talking about previously, the greens and the whites of like the ice is so luscious and so vibrant. It's really amazing. But also the HDR, the inside of Ava's body, you see the little LED illuminations, and it really is fascinating. You know, some of the HDR highlights in the movie really are fascinating because the lab really isn't too insanely detailed but the one thing it has is like an ominence a nice a nicely lit ominence and what i mean by that is just a lot of empty space but very well lit and it's very much improved with the hdr 
Otherwise, it looked very drab. I went into this expecting a very drab color palette, and it's really not too drab. Like, when the power goes off and everything turns red, that is nice, 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 let's just deep red. It's, it's great. And all the colors in this film really are great. When they step outside, those greens, they hit you in the face, and that's what you're expecting from the HDR. So... With some reviewers, I don't agree with the drab color palette, but I do agree with the soft shots. The soft shots are a big problem with this film, but, you know, that's a problem on the 1080p too. So if you're a fan of this film, it's definitely worth the double dip. You know, they're pricing this at $15.99. This includes the Blu-ray, the digital copy, and the 4K, and I think that's a killer deal. So anyway, with this, because I already actually own this on digital, I'm going to be giving away my digital copy. So please comment below, and I'm going to do a randomizer of all the comments, and I'm going to select the comment gets that, that gets selected, and you will get the movie for free of charge. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video today. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe down below. Have a good day, guys.